All right, so I wanted to do a quick second channel video going over some of the new accessories coming out this Black Friday, November 27th. Pretty much all of these have been posted on my Instagram at this point, so I don't think there's anything here that hasn't been shown off on Instagram. There might be one or two, but I'm pretty sure I've shown them all off. So there's nothing new, but obviously these are new. So let's go ahead and go over them. We have a bunch of different ones here. And there is going to be more molded stuff that actually will be coming out on Black Friday, but this is the majority of it. But there is some really cool stuff. Actually, this isn't all of it because I have the overmolds that I can also show off, but this is the solid color stuff. Maybe we'll do a separate video for the overmolds. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and start off. We have the Call of Duty Fury Sword. So this one's really cool. We'll be having this one in black and gunmetal. Let's see how up close I can get with this camera. There we go. That's looking really good. So we have these in black and gunmetal. Really excited for those. A lot of people in my Discord have been wanting those. So we finally did those. Let's stick to the theme of Call of Duty. We have the Cap 40, which is a really fun machine pistol in Black Ops 2. That's why I wanted to make this. So the Dark Tan will be a very limited number. Then we also have gunmetal, but dark tan is, of course, the most accurate on this um, weapon for Black Ops 2, at least. So that's a really fun one. I believe I'm going to be calling that one the BT-40 machine pistol. Um, let's go ahead. Let's do, let's do these guys. These are really cool AKs that have Magpul furniture. This one is the optics version. So this one's really cool. Can I actually zoom in and get even closer? There we go. So we have the gunmetal and black version here. I love the Magpul mag and this long extended handguard and a really cool muzzle brake. And that's got a nice optic on there. That's probably like a one to eight X. So really excited to have some more, more modern tactical AKs in the mix. And while we're on the theme of AKs, let's also, we'll just get these two out of the way. It's the same thing, except there's no optic on these. So if you guys want a plain Jane one, you can have those as well. I'm going to zoom back out a little bit there. Um, let's go ahead and move on. We'll do the G3 next. So this is a really cool one. This is an older design of ours that I've had for a really long time, but the original one doesn't have any optics. Um, it just has iron sights. It's not suppressed, no vertical um, grip or anything. So this one has a small reflex sight suppressor and an angled foregrip. And then I also added the rails to the top of it. So I really like the added detail to this. And I know a lot of people really like the G3 as a platform. So I'm excited to finally bring some more kind of modern era versions of that to life. All right, let's get these pistols out of the way. We've got the Glock 17 or 18 really doesn't mean it's universal with this pistol, but it's the unloaded version. So the slides lock back, the barrel is actually at a slight angle because it is a free floating barrel and um, the chamber is open. It is one solid piece, they do not move, but I figured some people would love those for certain scenes and builds and minifigures. So we did the same thing also with the Beretta M9. So we have those as well. Let's get this one out of the way. This one's a fun one. This is the Rainbow Six Siege Sludge Hammer. So we have these in black and gunmetal. And then I also will be, I don't think I've announced this, but I will have the Sludge minifigure coming out with this as well for this Black Friday. So I'm really excited about that. Let's do this one next. This is kind of a mashup of an M4. I'm going to be calling this the M4 CQB. So it's a shorter M4. It's got a pec box, angled foregrip, and an EOTech. The um, rear sight is folded down for optimal you know looking through the eotech and then we also have the magpul mag and then a different um retractable crane stock there which i'm really excited about so this one's a really cool one once again i know a lot of you guys really like just the tactical modern stuff so i wanted to make sure we start giving you guys some more of that because i know it's been a while since i've given those types of weapons and some of you guys just love ARs and AKs, and I don't blame you, but we got to keep making them. This one's really cool. This is an AR that has an EOTech. It has a um, angled foregrip, but the coolest thing about this one is this has the 60 round mag. So if you actually look, it's actually, let's see if we can zoom in on this. It's actually flared out and it's like way thicker. So I got the inspiration from this from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, the newer version, you can get a 60 round extended mag and it is that larger, fatter mag. So I really think that's cool. And the cool thing about this one, it's got this really badass compensator on the end. Um, so these are really cool. I'm really excited about these two. Man, we can actually get pretty close up. We might just keep doing this. All right, let's go back to an AK. This is the AK Dong with the Dong grip. 
pretty classic, you know, iconic. I plan to do an overmold of this eventually, but for now we have the solid color one. So this one's pretty cool, pretty simple, classic AK. Let's get this out of the way. This is Hunter's Knife from the Bad Batch. Kind of a cool little Star Wars accessory there for you guys. Um, another cool accessory we have, if I can find the other color of it. Oh, here we go. Is we have stem shots now. So these are pretty cool. So if you guys want these for like Warzone or PUBG or something like that, kind of a cool different accessory. You guys know us for doing kind of random. I wouldn't say random, but just unique accessories that no one's really thought of. Um, let's get some of these out of the way. We've got the Japanese Nambu pistol. Really happy with how this one turned out. We've got those. And then we also have, I showed off the Type 100. And then we also have the Type 99 machine guns here. So here's the Type 99. Um, and then we have the Type 100 SMG. So really happy about that. Another one that's very similar to the Type 99 is the Bren gun. So we finally have a British Bren gun. I'm trying to get more British weapons in my arsenal. So I don't really have a whole lot. I don't think I actually have many at all. So I wanted to get more weapons for the Brits. Then let's go ahead and do, we'll do the AUG next. So this is a pretty nice one. It's the AUG with a suppressor, a 2X scope, peck box, and then of course the vertical grip. And last but not least, some really fan favorites in the Discord. We have the G36 Tactical Suppressed with angled foregrip and EOTech. But my favorite is the last one I'll show off here is the G36C with a stubby grip, a 2X scope, but also I added the rail detail. You guys can just barely see that. It's just enough to come through, but I think that looks so sweet. So I'm very excited to have these. And uh, if I throw this on a... Oh, let's find a minifigure off to the side here. We'll do we'll do this guy, this new crazy combo variant. But if you just look at this, this looks absolutely insane. So I'm really excited with how that one turned out. I can show you guys a few of the different weapons here in the minifigure's hands. Um, but yeah, I also really want to make this YouTube channel very Discord friendly. So I'll probably post this video in the Discord. And if you guys have any questions or anything, I can address them in shorter form videos instead of maybe just messages. So I think that'll be kind of cool. So I just wanted to go over these new weapons. Once again, this is not all of them. This is most of them. We still have the overmolds that I'll probably do a separate video on. But uh, yeah, really excited about these. November 27th, guys, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Mark your calendars and I'll see you guys there.